Hi Georgia Benz here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used um, a lot of cardstock, well not a lot. I used Mossy Meadow at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of DSP from the Magnolia Lane series and I'm using the striped um, I don't know if that's old olive or mossy meadow whatever it is I'm using this one and that will stick on one of them hopefully yeah I have cut out a shape from the nesting dies and this one is the second lar largest and from the carols of Christmas I have cut out some trees which are here I've got two double trees no I haven't, yes I have which have already put, it, put, it, put the spots, Christmas snow spots on I have two more to do and I've also cut out two little deer which are here um, oh, I see yeah one's got me turned around what else have I got oh I've got to stamp and punch the tag using this tag um, bunch and the red bit is just for decoration. I used this leaf punch and with some cherry cobbler. Might as well do that now. And I punched out two. One, two. Don't need that anymore. So we have two of them. To add a little bit of colour to our card. What else? A stamp set for this I used. Labels are to love and I used that one. And inside I just fitted the C does go and the S does go on the red but it looks all right from mistletoe season this Merry Christmas. So let's, well, oh, yeah, I've got some scrap. Let's do that little bit of stamping first. So with cherry cobbler, we're going to stamp the, oh, I never got it out. Stamp the frame. I'll just stamp it down. Nice. Cloth or red. Right, finish with that. Of a mossy meadow, I will stamp the sentiment. Merry Christmas. I'm going to stamp that. Inside this. Doesn't come out very well, has it? Let's do it again. So, start again. 
put that on there. Just about a big enough piece of scrap out. Punch that out. And put this one away. I get it even both sides. Oh. So. Right, with this, all I did was get my gel paint. And you see me do this before on another card. I don't know if it was this year or last year. Losing track of what I've done. Just colouring in the tops of each of the branches just to give the effect that the snow's there. That's a very good pen. Try this one. and then just dot all over it. That's one. And I thought that hadn't cut out properly then. Didn't realise it was the Reindeer or deers or stags or animals was underneath it. Dot all over this one. That do. I think I'll throw that one in a bin. That one away. 
Right. Now I want these to go that way, but obviously when you cut them out, they're that way. So, on this one, because I'm going to turn it around, there's a bit of a lip from the die cut. But if you run the burn folder around the edge, you can flatten that lip. And that'll make it look like it was cut out from that way. So, all we've got to do now is stick this card together. So, that's for the inside. Where's my glue? on the front of the card base. And we have our nesting die piece. And we'll stick that to the left. put a, one of them and one of them on dimensionals and these sit here and they go down flat so let's glue them down flat middle of it. Like that. And then putting this back in because we're going to use dimensionals now. We're going to put dimensionals on the back. That, that, a tiny one on these. Right, that way. So, tiny one on them and on there. So, Tiny one in their bellies, and I think we need little ones at the top here. To the trees. It's nearly finished. I don't know if we've got any more. No. Oh, got another packet. That's fine. So. Put 
these trees down. Take back ends off. And we'll have these like that there. And this one there. It's like a little forest, isn't it? This one can go hiding behind the, that side of the tree. And this one. hiding there. Right, these just get glued together on the bottom bit. And and then that is placed on top like that. Right, I did a sentiment, which I don't have with me, so I will just pop that in there and I will do a sentiment inside off camera. Like I seem to be doing a lot lately because I forget to bring the stamps over. But I'm going to add some gold gems to these. I think it's shouting gems. I'm going to put these gold. Where's me? Right. I'm going to put one there. One here. And one here. That's better. Well, I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Please comment, as I like to read your comments. And um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload. Usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.